In my opinion, there's no better way to start the day than blowing your eyeballs away with a 50 billion pixel screenshot of The Witness. Yes, you heard me right. 50 freaking billion eye popping pixels. That means you'd apparently need 6,000 4K TVs to display the image fully from Gigapixel Gaming. Heck, I don't even have a 4K TV yet, but if I'm going to make the punch, might as well buy 6,000, right? Anyway, I can't wait to be old Granny Naomi and hear my grandkids talking about how the PS9's 60 billion pixels trumps Xbox Infinite's 50 billion pixels. Those lucky little scamps. All right, either die a hero in a Justice League movie, or you live long enough to see yourself get a solo film. For Batman, it's the latter, and we may have a better idea of when Ben Affleck's standalone Dark Knight flick is on the way. The Suicide Squad cast and Slash Film noticed that when Time Warner CEO Jeff Fuchs spoke during a Goldman Sachs communicopia, he said Ben announced a Batman movie that he's going to direct Star Wright for, I think it's a year and a half out. Now here's the question designed by the Riddler. Does he mean it will release in 18 months or just start production then? If only we had the world's greatest detective here to find out. I am the knight. Now I don't know if you realize this or not, but video game cars can go really, really fast. It's true, but don't take my word for it. Presented by Forza Horizon 3, we're giving away a copy of Forza Horizon 3, the rad open world racing game where you can speed down roads and beaches in Australia and then just wreck into the competition. All you have to do is fill out the form in the link on the screen here or in the video's description. Oh, and beware my drag guitar. That's your daily fix for September 27th. I'm Naomi Kyle. And I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman! If you want more news, make sure you download the official IGN app, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. I'm Batman.